Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to give you some updates of what's going on. Uh, it's almost December. What is today? A couple days till December. Uh, 27th of November, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, and we still have no snow in Spokane. So, what I have to tackle before it snows is to get my car parked in my garage up here. And let me show you why that's going to be a monumental task. Um, so my car does not go anywhere in the winter. Um, so I need to, I'm going to detail it. Um, probably full detail. And get it parked in the garage because it's rear wheel drive. I love my car, but it doesn't have any traction in the winter. It's rear wheel drive. And it, this really shouldn't be a car that you drive in the winter anyway. So great car, just not a winter car. So I'm going to take you up to my garage and show you what I'm working with. Um, I've got a couple deadlines that I need to work on. And one is the snow. I have to get my garage organized before it snows. And then the other, um, now, let me preface this with I'm not dying or anything, but um, I have to go into the hospital for a couple weeks, so probably have to go in. Um, so I want to get things ready before then. So here we go. <laughs> this is going to be scary. My garage has turned into a catch-all for all sorts of junk. All the junk in my life just goes in here. So I've started organizing like donation boxes so I can get those out of the way. Um, I've got just all sorts of stuff. I've got, oh my goodness, so much junk that I need to organize. I am the worst organizational person ever. So I hope the camera's not too shaky because I'm really trying to work on not having it too shaky. So anyway, so this is my goal before it before it snows and before I have to go in for a couple weeks. So I'll have peace of mind that my car is safe in here. And I'll have it done before winter. Well, I guess it is winter, but, you know, before the snows. So, oh, I want to show you this thing if I don't fall down over all my junk. Um, so these are my old cabinets from my kitchen. When I remodeled my kitchen, my contractor offered to take them off my hands and, I guess, scrap them. And I said, absolutely not. Um, I didn't know they were as valuable as they are, but my idea for them was to put them in my garage so I could have cabinets in my garage in a nice work area. And I talked to a friend of mine who knows old cabinets, and these 50s metal cabinets are worth a fortune. They're worth... Um, could be worth up to $11,000 actually. And they're pretty good condition. They just need to be cleaned up there. You can see this one's really dusty. But yeah, if you know anything about metal cabinets, Hot Point 50s metal cabinets are, I guess, the rage for mid-century modern houses. So let's get these, one, get these ones cleaned up and I'll probably still put them in my garage to use, but I'll be very careful with them so they're not scratched up and stuff. So wish me luck. I am working, hopefully this weekend I'll have everything done, and then I'll have it ready to go into the hospital and get my stuff done. Anyway, hopefully you have a great day, and take care.